Hi friends, good morning. 30th of last month we conducted an induction program in NS Agricultural College and Horticulture College in Markapur. And that time we played this video to the students. Watch and subscribe and ring the bell also. Thank you. A grain as big as a hen's egg. Short story by Leo Tolstoy. Leo Tolstoy died in November 1910 in his 83rd year. This story and the drawing of Count Tolstoy were published in the November Catholic Worker, New York, a special issue devoted to the Russian pacifist and anarchist. So read this story, listen to the story and see how things are in those days and nowadays. One day, some children found in a ravine, a thing shaped like a grain of corn with a groove down the middle but as large as a hen's egg. A traveller passing by saw the thing, bought it from the children for a penny and took it to town sold it to the king as curiosity. The king called together his wise men and told them to find out what the thing was. The wise men pondered and pondered and could not make head or tail of it till one day when the thing was lying on a window sill. A hen flew and pecked at it till she made a hole in it and then everyone saw that it was a grain of corn. The wise men went to the king and said, It is a grain of corn. At this, the king was much surprised. And he ordered the learned men to find out when and where such corn had grown. The learned men pondered again and searched in their books, but could find nothing about it. So they returned to the king and said, We can give you no answer. There is nothing about it in our books. You will have to ask the peace hands. Perhaps some of them may have heard from their father when and where grain grew to such a size. So the king gave orders that some very old peace hands should be brought before him. And his servants found such a man and brought him to the king. Old and bent, ashy, pale and toothless, he just managed with the help of two crutches to totter into the king's presence. The king showed him the grain, but the old man could hardly see it he took it, however, and felt it with his hands. The king questioned him, saying, Can you tell us, old man, where such grain as this grew? Have you ever brought such corn or sown such in your fields? The old man was so deaf that he could hardly hear what the king said. And 
only understood with great difficulty no he answered at last i never sowed nor repeat reaped any like it in my fields nor did i ever buy any such when we bought corn the grains were always as small as they are now but you might ask my father he may have heard where such grains grew so the king sent for old man's father and he was found and brought before the king he came walking with one crutch the king showed him the grain and old pisand who was still able to see took a good look at it and the king asked him can you not tell us old man where corn like this used to grow have you ever brought any like it or sown any in your fields though the old man was rather hard of hearing he still heard better better than his son had done no no he said i never sowed nor reaped any grain like this in my field as to buying i never bought any for in my time money was not at in use everyone grew his own corn and when there was any need we shared with one another i do not know where corn like this grew ours was larger and yielded more flour than present day grain but but i never saw any like this i have however heard my father say that in his time the grain grew larger and yielded more flour than ours you had better ask him so the king sent for his old man's father and they found him too and brought him before the king he entered walking easily and without any clutches his eyes was clear his hearing was good and he spoke distinctly the king showed him the grain and the old grandfather looked at it and turned it about in his hand it is long since i saw such fine grain said he and he bit a piece of it and tasted it it's the very same kind he added tell me grandfather said the king when and where was such corn grown have you ever bought any like it or sown any in your fields and the old man replied corn like this used to grow everywhere in my time i lived on corn like this in my young days and fed others on it it was grain like this that we used to sow and reap the thresh and the king asked tell me tell me grandfather did you buy it anywhere or did you grow it all yourself the old man smiled in my time he answered 
no one ever thought of such a sin as buying or selling bread and we knew nothing of money each man had corn enough of his own then then tell me grandfather asked the king where were where was your field where did you grow corn like this and the grandfather replied my field was god's earth whenever i plowed there was my field land was free it was a thing no man called his own labor was the only thing men called their own labor labor was the only thing men called their own and answer me two more questions said the king the first is why did the earth bear such grain then and has ceased to do so now and the second is why your grandson walks with two crutches your son with one and yourself with none your eyes are bright your teeth are sound and your speech clear and please and pleasant to the ear how have these things come about and the old man answered these things are so because men have ceased to live by their own labor and have taken to depending on the labor of others in the old time men lived according to god's law they had what was theirs own they had what was their own and coveted not what others had produced this is the story written by leo tolstoy long back in 18th century i think till today we are seeing the facts the grandchildren are walking with clutches grandchildren father is walking with one clutch grandfathers great grandfathers are walking with no clutches with full strength vigor health and everything my dear friends understand what is happening to this whole humanity thank you and at the end i asked them to write down their own answers for the two questions that the king asked the grandfather the first two questions were answered by all the students in their own way and in their understanding so next uh, video we are going to release is their answers for these two questions thank you